Hi everyone, hope this video finds you all well and you're enjoying the challenge that we're doing on Matthew. Um, David has asked me to do a bit of a reflection on chapter 6 uh, in Matthew and our challenge and um, in reading through chapter 6 the, the, the one passage that springs to mind for me is the do not worry. Uh, and I think in this, this this time where there is so much concern and uncertainty, um, this is a passage that is not just applicable for me, but for, for all of us. And um, I have to confess that I am a warrior. Um, my mother-in-law, uh, the late Margaret Donnelly, um, Peggy, was also a warrior and used to um, chastise me for worrying and it was always quite funny because she was such a warrior too. But I remember she gave me this wee fridge magnet and it was the, the, the uh, serenity prayer on it. Um, and for those of you who don't know what that is, it says, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. Um, and that was on my, it was on my fridge magnet and um, it always sort of makes me smile because I know that it was a present from one warrior to another. But yet here in this passage today, we're, I, I'm, I'm looking at this and it's in bold type. It's a command. Do not worry. OK, so don't worry about um, our life, what we eat or drink, about our body or what we will wear. And I love the part where it says about um, consider the lilies of the field, Cons consider the, the sparrows in the air and how much God loves them and how much God looks after them. And if he looks after them, how much more will he look after us? And it was funny today, I was standing, just looking out of the, the, the kitchen window in the snow and seeing a bunch of sparrows in the trees and without a cur in the world. And it just reminded me of, of this passage um, that I, I'm commanded not to worry because when I put, when I worry, I put God in the passenger seat of my life. I put God to the background because I effectively am saying to God, you're okay, I've got this. I've got this more than you do. Um, and that is not only wrong, but that is sinful. And that is my pride. Um, telling God that I know better than he does. So I think this this passage for me is is such a it, it's such a wake up call um that I am not to worry and I am commanded do not worry and not to worry about today, not to waste time worrying about tomorrow, but to place myself in, in God's hands to place him in the driving seat of my life, to place him um, where he should be, at the forefront of my every thought and every deed. So um, for the warriors out there, like myself, um, have, look at this passage, um, Matthew 6, verses 25 through to 34. Um, and don't worry. And when you feel yourself starting to worry, take it to God and leave it there. And don't do what I tend to do, which is take it to God, leave it there, and then take it back sort of a while afterwards and have another go worrying about it. Because um, that isn't fruitful um, and it, it, it is sinful. So do not worry, folks. Um, God's got this. Do not worry about the current situation with Corona. God's got this. Um, do not worry about anything because God's got this. Um, and I, I think that's something that we all need reminded of when you hear, you hear the news and see how bad things are and how worrying things are um, do not worry God's got this okay folks God bless